security assurance. Um, so you're going to see a mix there. And then the right side are the bottom three weaknesses. And what I've done, and this is only for the Australia slide and then the next Singapore slide, if you see in that aqua color, uh, I do have um, uh, uh, grades or marks uh, that are more relevant to Australia. Now, please forgive me. I'm perfectly aware that uh, all the different um, um, you know, uh, regions in Australia, you know, not everyone aligns, and that's universal with any country. Um, you know, so, the, so the mechanism for, for grades or marks are different um, you know, within a particular country. Uh, but, this is, uh, but hopefully our Australian attendees uh, at least are familiar with the different bands uh, for, for grade school marking systems. So um, big picture with Australia, uh, tied for number four of six when it came to risk assessment. Uh, bottom of the pack for security assurance. You know, again, this is based on perceptions, uh, but security professionals in Australia rank lowest on their perceived ability to mitigate security risks. Um, and th that actually brought down the score, well, together, 69% and 69% averages to 69%, and so that was bottom of the pack, number six of six. So this would be the equivalent of a band three uh, mark in, in Australia. Now, on the positive side, uh, assessing laptops and notebooks for security risks uh, seems to not be as big of a problem. Uh, and the same for assessing desktop PCs for risks. That doesn't seem to be as big of a problem, so that's good. Uh, detecting cyber threats emanating from within. Uh, you know, in recent years, we've, we've seen so many, uh, you know, attacks emanate from within uh, as laptops and notebooks and mobile devices, tablets are hand carried into the office right through the front door. Uh, you know, threats are brought in from the outside world, and these threats bypass your, your perimeter.